hello friends uh, in this in this video i'm going to explain about the one small concept uh, which is a one request which i, I get i got it from my channel so i'm i'm preparing a video on that in this uh, the the use case here is like they have you have the excel excel sheet okay in that uh, you have the data in a1 to a5 a5 cells okay and you want to display the data in your ui path okay so uh, you want to read that excel sheet get the data from those sheets and display it in your ui path okay that is the uh, use case here now we will see how we can resolve how you can um, how we can give the solution for that okay uh, uh, there were two approaches for that okay approach one which is is very straightforward approach to which is again a straightforward but not as recommended but not as recommended dead as okay which is um, which is nothing but a, a macro excel macro you just read the excel you just um, write the excel macro to read the data from those sheets and you display it and you run those excel macro uh, in uh, in ui path and you can you can get the data okay that you can see in uh, you can see those those videos from my channel okay uh, in direct approach one which is also i have explained previously but i am explaining now here you can see i have used this uh, uh, before going into that I want to just show you the data first so here yeah, data is like where is that Excel yeah. no use case so uh, data is like this okay in sheet 1 from A1 to A5 you have the data and you are now uh, you are now reading the data as part of UI path okay and one more thing I want to tell you is uh, as of now I have an issue with the Excel and UI path that means I could not able to integrate this uh, I could not able to get the data I could not able to read any Excel files to UI path so so I'll just going to explain you the approach um, then uh, you also you try it and if you found any issues please mention in the comment section so that I can also come back to you okay so here I have taken one uh, sequence and I have used this excel application scope since when you are working with excel this is the first this is the first activity that you need to get okay in that you just give the path here and once that is completed I you need to use this read range function read range function by default it will be null okay it will be like this okay that means uh, if you won't mention any range it will read the entire range but if you mention the range like like i am mentioning now a1 to a5 it will read the data in that range only okay in that sheet it will go and it will read the data in this range okay so this range function you can get the data you can get the output in this uh, you just get the output of this activity that means that whole data that is read by UI path from A1 to A5 A, uh, cells you get the data in in data variable okay which is a data table type okay as you can see I'm um, as you can see here okay now uh, once you get the data it's it's how you iterate through the data table to uh, get that okay so here i uh, get the proper uh, you know you have five cells right so if you want only one cell data how you will get it i'll i'll show you the approach here okay if you type this data table there are lot of uh, uh, activities that will be shown here close to 14 to 15 activities were there here i am using two one is data output output data table the output data table will convert your data table into the text format okay that is data is your data table data one is a text format that i am creating okay if you execute this you will get the data okay but if i execute here i could not able to because 
uh, I have this uh, exception here excel exception okay I'll show you for your reference one second I'll disable it as of now and uh, Yeah, I got this right. So, message box. That one. Okay, let me exclude it. Ah, nice man. Seriously, I thought I don't have. Uh, I'm I could not able to execute it. So beautiful. Okay, so super. So I can explain it very clearly now Yeah, uh, you can see you got the data from a1 to a5 cells Let me show it again. You can see this data you got it and now uh, if you want only third uh, third cell uh, if you want only fifth cell you can loop to it. You can use that uh, uh, What I can say is you can use a substring and uh, you can get that data okay substring of that uh, string and you can you can uh, get that particular data i have mentioned i have yeah i have created one video on it uh, in my channel please uh, look into it to do that substring uh, uh, how that uh, substring will work i have mentioned no uh, no sorry i haven't created any video on it i have created with the split and join yeah uh, please try this option if you are unable to get that uh, substring for the particular data you wanted please mention a comment section so that i can come back to you on that and the other one is the loop function i'll i'll explain this okay here this you once you get that loop comment out what is this i want to enable this activity again it is showing another disability again i'm enabling it yeah what enable it yeah got it so i uh, share that data table which i got from that reading that uh, sheet i'm doing that for each loop on the data table what i'll do is i'll get this message box from here to here and i'll convert this so one row data uh, then it can get text no. let me try with the two string okay oh. I got a five but everything is like a data row okay so she has something is we need to do something here uh, begin edit find clear get row get row get uh, child rows get type get child rows column editor hash code parent row yeah let's try with this I don't think this will work okay as of now I'm passing this video I'll I'll see the solution and I will explain it again okay yeah friends uh, I got a solution here uh, once this for each loop we are looping to the for each loop we just need to give the get item get row item okay here I have um, I'm getting the data from this column if you want to get the data from this column also uh, uh, you can do that here get row item I'm mentioning the column index as zero so it is getting the data from that and if you want to get the data from one you can do mentioning one if you want to get the data from both then you need to use this activity two times okay and give the output to the d okay some variable i have created which type is um you can see it is coming as generic type okay and or else you can change it to string no problem okay let's save it what is i'm getting uh, no it's not coming into string okay fine let it be 
and give this generic type okay let me save this i'm now running it now you can see i'm looping to each and every value so let me execute it again are we getting entire data g8 starting from g8 js twin as ds that's it okay so here uh, uh, okay okay so so one second i think this is related to that column headers value yeah let me remove this now let me try and execute this yeah you can see that we found that yeah this is how we need to handle it and second approach is uh, which i i won't recommend usually is like write a macro for getting that range and uh, this execute that macro i have created two videos on it in my channel you can you can go through those okay if you have any doubt for those things uh, please mention in my comment section so that i can come back to you and i can explain on it okay if you like this video please subscribe to my channel for the more videos thank you